Hey everyone, it's Chris, and today we're just going to be cre creating a quick JavaScript calculator. So I'll just demonstrate it quickly. 9 minus 2 is equal to 7. Clear the screen. Let's say 3 times 8 is equal to 24. Um, so that's what we're going to be building today. And let's just jump straight in and just remove our code. So I'm just going to select all of this, click delete, say hello world, save, and I'm just going to open up our document again to just to show you that when we're working in this sheet and everything is just going to be in one file. So let's start by creating some HTML tags, uh, sorry, HTML document. I'm just going to say JS calc, save that. Now let's create a form. So if we go form, and let's just give it, we just need a name, let's say name. In fact, we don't even need a name, but it's always nice to play out uh, calculator. I can't put spell calculator apparently. Calc. You know, when you look at something, it just doesn't look right. Maybe because we use a capital letter and it just doesn't look right to me. Anyway, getting sidetracked. So, um, obviously all calculators have a display, so let's create an input, which is type of text, and then the ID of this is obviously display. Let's set this to read only, because obviously we don't want people manipulating it straight from the, in uh, from the, from the inbox, it's uh, input field itself. And let's set any style, just so you can see it a little bit more clearly. Oh, I can't type tonight. Style border one pixel solid black. So if I save this and open up, you should just see our display. Now let's create some paragraph tags so we can put some buttons in. So create a button, type is equal to button, um our value is equal to, let's start with nine. Um, on click, we want to perform an action, but let's just let's just save that there and show you what we, what we have so far. So if I save, reload, we have a display and we have a single button, nine, which is obviously doing nothing. So what I want to do is when we click this, I want to call a JavaScript function, which performs the, the magic and does everything in the back end. So let's say, Unclick and let's call this calc, and it's going to take in one argument, and that is going to be the number of itself. So, value is nine, we're going to pass in nine. So, um, what I want to do is go down here a little bit and let's just open some script tags and say um, function. I'm just going to create a quick function, to just uh, I'll show you why I'm doing this in a second, but underscore x and then return document not get element by id and x so what i'm doing here is i'm just saying right rather than me having to type this out every single time whenever i, I type underscore just perform this action uh, well underscore with parentheses so if i say uh, underscore display what it's going to do is it's going to look for the function underscore it's going to take in the argument display, which is what it's doing here, and then it's going to return. It's going to it's going to run this, and it's going to return the document get element by id x. So get get document and uh, sorry document dot get element by id display. So rather than me having to type out this every single time, all I'm having to do is type underscore display. Now it's not necessary for this tutorial, but it's just easier. It saves me. It will save me a little bit of time. So if I go id display it's there that's what we're looking for so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create this function now so calc so let's say function calc and then this is going to take in a value so let's say val and what we want to do is we want to say underscore so what we were just talking about a second ago display um, display so what we're doing here is we're passing it so we're, we're, at, we're in this function but we're going outside of it, we're going over here, and we're going to return the document by ID, which is display. So we're passing in that to there, which is being passed there, 
that's gone finding that and it's been returned back to us. Right, so it might sound a little bit confusing, but um, once you get your head around it, it's like, oh, okay, that makes perfect sense. Anyway, getting sidetracked. So, calculator, what we're doing is we're getting the value of display. So we want the value. And what we're going to do is we're going to plus equals, right, val. Okay? So what we're doing is we're just saying get the value of display and add on the new value. So 9. So if I save that and open up our um, open up Chrome, so if I say 9, so 9 gets pasted into it. And if I say 9 again, rather than it overwriting it and just putting one 9, it's getting the value of it, 9, and it's adding in another 9. So 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, because it's getting its current value and adding a new one on. So that's the, the building blocks to our... Uh, our calculator let's just duplicate this a, a, a few more times now before you um you you jump on me and you say right you, you're doing it wrong you're repeating yourself over and over i know um there's cleaner ways of doing this but i shouldn't really be copying and pasting the input fields but i just wanted to show you a nice quick way of doing this i'm going to do something and say multiply and eight so and multiply save so I'm just going to reload this and show you what we've got nine eight seven multiply now obviously these aren't doing anything at the moment but every time we add something on you know we click a button it's been added into our display and let's just copy all of that again right and I have to do that sometimes atom has a mind of its own okay so next line, let's do six, five, four, and divide. Six, five, four, divide. Now, I hope this is starting to make a little bit more, little bit of sense. What we're doing. So so um, final one is three, two, one. Oh, it's not the final one, is it? Um, and what we what we had? Let's have a another minus three, two, one minus. Save this. Go over. Reload. Nine eight seven six five four three two one. Uh, multiply, divide, and minus. And then let's just do the last row. So um, we'll have a plus here oh, plus right in the middle we'll have a zero zero we'll have a equals here and we'll have a C here right um, I'm, I'm intentionally doing something wrong here, but I'll show you in a second. So uh, I hope you've not paused the video and, and copied me all the way. So, save and reload. We've got our calculator set up, but um, we want C and equals to do something different. Obviously, when we press C to clear the screen, we don't want it to be to be adding the value of C in. And likewise with equals, we don't want it to be adding an equals into the uh, into the into our display, we want that to perform a different function. So I'm just going to come over here and I'm just going to say, right, the equals is going to do something else. So I'm just going to clear this and I'm just going to say um, E. Right, and this one is going to be C. So E and C, so we can clear and calculate. So what we want to do is we want to create those functions. So let's do the clear one first. So function c oh that's x what is going on right. function c to clear is going to take in the value and it's going to um underscore so again what we've done up here display so it's going to get the value of display well, dot value and then it's going to set that so it's saying equals nothing so when we press on when we press C, the button C is going to call this function. We're going to get the element by its ID, so we're going to get the value 
of display. I'm going to set that to nothing. So if I save that, come over here, refresh, press 1, clear. We're clearing the screen now. Now, let's just finish this off. So function, uh, what did we call it? I think we called it E, didn't we? So E, and what E is going to do, again, we're going to do underscore display value is equal to, and this one's slightly different, what we're going to use is we're going to use the eval function. So eval takes in um, your, your arguments and it's, it adds them together basically. So if I go eval oh, display dollar value. Right, so what I'm doing here is when I press um, the equals, just call the function e. That's going to come down here, and it's going to do. It's going to run this. And what we're going to do is we're going to get the value of display. So whatever is in display, we're going to evaluate it and execute the um, execute what is being what is in there, what is the contents, and we're going to set it to its new value. So if I save this. Come over here, refresh, and I say 9 times 5 is equal to 45. Now, um, at the beginning of the tutorial, I think I said that it's not going to be bulletproof, and it isn't bulletproof. This isn't like a, a foolproof way, because now, right now, you know, if I said equals, you know, minus minus, and then equals, it's doing nothing, you know. So that's something that you we can expand on a little bit further down the line, but hopefully this gives you some kind of idea on how to work with JavaScript functions and, and little things that we can do. But basically, we've declared our form, we've set all of our buttons, and we've passed in um, arguments into each function that we've called. Then down here, we've set two different functions which will calculate and clear the screen. And we've also set a function which will return the element by ID just to make it easier for us so we can we don't have to type out um, this every single time. You know, we could have done this. That would have worked, again, you know, if I replaced all of these. But after a while, you know, typing that out, it gets a little bit monotonous. Anyway, so I'm just going to do that. Yeah, save. And I'm just going to leave it there. Thanks very much for watching and I hope you've taken something away from this. Cheers, bye-bye.